Okay, this is how to export from um, Nomad to get it into Blender. Now, my model has layers with the colour on. You can see there, there's a layer with, a, with my, my painting on. Now, the, la the painting layers do not export um, into Blender, so there's no point uh, exporting layers. So basically, what you need in there is I don't want export selection only ticked because I want to export all the objects. Export layers I have turned off because that will not work with vertex painting. Export normals ticked, export colors ticked, um, and export extra paint I believe doesn't do anything in Blender. So that's pretty much what you need to, to have. Um, GLTF is the format that you need because OBG will not do vertex colors in Blender, or not easily anyway. And GLTF is much nicer format. So basically, export GLTF from there. Choose your folder. Um, I I I have a shared folder which I save mine onto. Um, you can save wherever you like, wherever it's handy. Save on your iPad, then copy it across via USB or network, whichever. But essentially, that's it. Okay, so we are now in Blender. So I'll just uh, get rid of the default cube, we don't need that. So, what I need to do is we need to import our file. So, import GLTF. Find it wherever you had it. There's mine there. Uh, the default settings should be fine. Um, it will take it a little while. Um, Depending on your file, this one's got several million, got million points in it. So, la la la. la. There we go. So you have it in. It'll come in. Uh, all the objects are selected by default. So I'm just doesn't you don't have to, but I'm just going to move it up to there, just to it looks better. Right, so we have our model. Um, right, if you're not familiar with Blender, what you can do is we can view the vertex painting on here by going into this little drop down and just choosing vertex. I'm not sure what my vertex colors, so you can see them. Now, unfortunately. If I render that, it will just be white because um, it's just not the proper material. What you need to do is to make a material with those vertex colors. So I'm just going to pull this up, get my shape edit that, and go to materials, put the head object selected, um, and I should make a new material. Oh, there's a material already there. Oh. That one. Yeah, I'll make yeah, okay. So I'll just come here. So we have a material. Um so basically I'll put this back in a render mode and see that this material does nothing. Uh, I'm just using it though. Let's see if I change the colours. Um, so what you need to do is you need to get the vertex colours of this model. Which is pretty easy. So Shift A, choose Input Vertex Color. There we go. Took that anyway. And what you do now is just drag that little noodle across to your base color, and boom, just by magic, there it is. Um, but you could do other stuff with this. You, know, you could put the bump maps on. You could do all sorts of things. Um, all I'm going to do just for a quickie. It's not a roughness down of it, a little bit of a sheen. Um, so that's it. That's my material set up. I will just select the other items and choose the same material for them. So I'll drop down. So there we are. Come over the material. Done. And I'm going to put this back to the timeline. Shift down there. 
Oops, missed one. So that is him all set up now. Um, as a render, I go to my EV render. We haven't got the cruising on, it's a little bit better quality. You can put the screen space reflection, there's no reflecting anything. So if you hit F12, should give me a render. And there we go. Not very good render because my camera's not set up. So if I press zero on the numpad, that's my camera view. So I'm just going to reposition my camera. Um, if you do navigation, you can do walk navigation. And anybody that's familiar with first person shooters on the PC, you can just fly around like you're in a first person shooter, basically. Using W, A, S, and D, and Q, and E to move your camera around, which is my favourite way of setting the cameras up in Blender. Um, so I'm just going to set that up there. So that's it. If I do render that now, it takes a few seconds. But it's easy, so it's pretty quick. There you go, rendered. So, first bit done. I'm not going to bother setting up fancy lighting or backgrounds or anything at the moment. This is just to show you basically how to render it. So that's that done. So the next bit is to do a turn around camera. To do that, you need a plugin. I can't remember if this is installed by default. So if it's not, it's edit preferences. Um, and if you type turn in there, in the search, it should come up. Uh, with turn around camera. If that's not ticked, you have to tick it and that will enable it. Um, and you press N and you get your sidebar. Um, I have far too many plugins installed, so my sidebars are legible. <laughs> but you should have a turn around camera in there. It's animation turn around camera. So there it is. So what you do is select the object that you want to be the center um, and then just click turn around. And that's it. You now have turn around camera. Ta -da. You can change settings. You can, you know, there's, there's settings to start and end frames and stuff, but that's just the default settings. Um, and that is your turn around camera. Um, if you want to render that off, you would then go into render. Uh, you go to this part here, view your dimensions. Um, default is, well, by default, it's 1920 um, Frames, start and end. You can, you can choose to step a frame, so it would make it like skip frame if you wanted to render a bit quicker, so it would do less frames. Um, you have an output folder and then a file format. Um, just because it's a quick one off movie, I would probably just choose. Um, FFmpeg video, uh, and then you'll choose where you want to put it. At the minute, that's just going to save it in the temp folder, but you can choose wherever you want to save it. Um, and then, basically, you just go to render and render animation, and off it goes. It will take a while, depending on the complex complexity of your model, the size that you're rendering. But as you can see, that's the first frame rendered, and with a few seconds, it will render another frame. But I'm not going to sit and wait for this because it's going to take forever. So essentially, that is it. Um, that will render off your movie. You can obviously. Uh, do all the stuff you could you can you've got your light here so you, you could you could obviously change your lighting um, you could put HDRI images into it yeah, I, have a, I have a fancy ass plugin that does that but you know. right, there you go. <laughs> but basically that's how you get a vertex colored model into Blender. So, 